Hey YouTube land, I'm back again, and isn't this quite a way to start an intro? In my bathroom, wearing a shower cap, you may be thinking to yourself, ah, she's deep conditioning, but no. I have actually had several questions about plopping, and there are three different techniques that I'm gonna show you today and talk to you about. I am currently wet plopping. And this was first made popular by Hi Felicia, and now is being championed by Power Dominique on Instagram, and it's become wildly popular, and for good reason, because it makes your hair look really beautiful. All right, so what is wet plopping? It is the process of putting on a shower cap very carefully, after you've applied all your products. So today, I washed and conditioned my hair, raked in a leave-in, pulsed in, like pulsed and squished, in a mousse and a gel. And then I put on the shower cap. I will show you how I did that. I did that like 10, 15 minutes ago. And as you can see, my hair is still extremely, extremely wet. So what it did is it gave me the opportunity to get dressed. Let me put it back on so I can talk to you not looking like Cousin It. Wait a moment. There, and now I showed you how to apply it. What this does is it allows me to get dressed, put on makeup, do a few things without my hair dripping all over me and getting excessively wet. Yes, it did drip some here, but like that'll dry in two seconds. Um, and it also allows a minute or two for my hair to absorb the products that I put on it. When I don't do this, and I go straight to drying my hair, my hair won't absorb the product. When it's wet, it is more receptive to absorbing products. It kind of opens up the cuticle and allows product to penetrate, more so than if you were to take the water out immediately. That is the theory. So anyway, that is wet plopping. You just leave it on there for a good 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes, depending on how long or slow you take to get dressed and whatnot. Let's go to my closet now and I'll show you another method of plumbing. Welcome to my closet. Ah, ah, ah. Goodness, I feel sorry for y'all watching these videos. I am a true dork. Okay, so I have a t-shirt, standard cotton t-shirt, and I'm going to plop with it. I'll show you what I do. As you saw, I have the neck hole facing me. Here are the arms and the main body of it is shooting away. I'm gonna take off the wet plop. I like to fold up the collar just a little bit and I like to fold up the tail about halfway. What this does is it, it gives me a more manageable amount to tie. So now I'm gonna hold my hair very carefully and let it accordion scrunch up. I want the edge of the towel to be touching my forehead. I don't want it to be too far down or too far back. Then I grab the back of the towel, t-shirt, <clears throat> and I put it around my neck. Then you grab each sleeve and tie it at the base of your neck. And you look super cute. Now what this does is it actually helps dry your hair some while allowing you to attract every man you have ever wanted. Just kidding. It's not the cutest thing ever, but it does kind of scrunch up your hair for a minute and allow the product to sit on your hair while also having water pulled out of your hair a little bit. This tends to work very well for much longer haired curlies or so I've seen. People with shorter hair don't tend to love doing this. All right, now I'm gonna show you the last and final method of plopping. 
And for that, we're back in my bathroom. So I'm just gonna show you real quick how it's tied right there. I just took the sleeves and tied it. A lot of people will do that on their toilet. I don't do it on my toilet. I do it on my closet floor. This is the final method of plopping that I'm gonna show you today, and it is one of my favorites. I really like incorporating both wet plopping and this. This is called micro plopping, and what it does is it's a way to enhance curl definition at the same time removing water from your hair. So first I'm gonna kinda make sure that everything is situated where I want it. I kinda like to have a deep part that's good enough for me. And I like my hair to fall out of my face. I don't like it to fall into my face. So I kind of gently shake everything away from my face. And then I take my hair and accordion scrunch it up and hold. And I can feel the t-shirt soaking up the water from my hair. And I kind of pulse too when I do this. Now I'm going to come over here and do this side. Same thing. And here's the really cool thing about this. Now this section of the t-shirt is really, really wet. If I find that a section is getting wonky or weird, I can take the wet part of the t-shirt and scrunch it and it will add moisture back into that section and help it not be weird and wonky or dry. Typically, my hair gets weird and wonky when I remove too much water too quickly. And you may be thinking to yourself, that's way too much scrunching, she's gonna create frizz. You can do this with a satin or silk scarf and you will not create frizz. My hair, generally, knock on wood, that was not wood, does not get frizzy when I scrunch. My, my, I don't have to fight frizz, usually. My biggest battle tends to be uh, lack of volume and curl pattern. So this method works really good for me because it enhances curl. All right, so those are the three types of plopping. You have wet plopping, t-shirt plopping, and micro plopping. I like to combine wet plopping and micro plopping. Those give me the best results. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you. And if you enjoyed it and liked it, please like it and subscribe. I would love some more suggestions from you guys on what y'all would like to see. Everybody's hair is so unique and different that having different people show you how to style their hair can be really helpful. Even if your hair isn't exactly like mine, I might have something that could help you. And likewise for you, you may have a tip, trick, or method, or way of doing something that would really help me out. To give you a reference point, my hair is medium to low porosity. Each individual strand is very, very fine, but my hair is very, very dense. You cannot see much of my scalp when it's parted. So I, I don't have thick hair. I have fine hair that's very dense. Anyway, um, if your hair's like that, oh, also you may have noticed that I didn't really mention curl pattern because curl pattern doesn't necessarily dictate what products you use or application method. Curl pattern just tells you the type of curl you have. So I have many different curl types on my head. No one head has universal or unanimous curl pattern. If you do, you're awesome. You're an anomaly. Um, I have some pieces that are 2A, which is the straightest hair on the curly girl spectrum. I have 2A. 2B, 2C, which are all wavy, and I have one or two 3A curls that I cherish very much because they're adorable. They spiral up right around my face. It's super cute. Anyway, um, I hope y'all are having a great day, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!